We're talking to Patrick Moore. He calls himself a Greenpeace dropout. That's the name of his book, Confessions of a Greenpeace Dropout. So 15 years from when you first set sail to when you left, why did you leave? Was it a falling out? Was it an ideological disagreement? Were, were you tired, or did you have a different vision? I wanted to work with people to find solutions, and Greenpeace was still into being against everything all the time, more or less. I wanted to move into sustainable development and away from pure confrontational politics. I wanted to s work with the people who now agreed with us, people in government and industry. Is there anything to Greenpeace besides the stunts and the gimmicks? I have a joke about it. can Greenpeace save the world by continually dressing up as animals and vegetables. And no, they can't. Is there any science behind it, or is it just a great way to make uh, some more stunts and some fundraising? They are uh, conducting a lot of campaigns that are very anti-science, very anti-human, and are hurting people, especially poor people and people living in developing countries. Um, they're against farming fish, for goodness sakes. You know, so they're against so many things that impact on working people and on poor people and are actually counterintuitive from a environmental point of view, counterproductive I mean.